The next reaction is a halogenation, where we add X2 across the triple bond. This could be Cl2, Br2, or I2. And because there's two pi bonds, we can do one equivalent or two equivalents of the halogen. So in the case of this example, we have the alkyne. We're adding one equivalent of Cl2. And what that's going to do is add a chlorine to each side of the triple bond. So we'll go from the triple bond to the double bond. And we'll have a Cl here and a Cl here. And those do add trans to one another. So why is that? Well, if you look at the mechanism, it's actually identical to the mechanism for addition of a halogen to alkenes. So here we have a Cl2. I'm going to draw a lone pairs on one of the chlorines. We'll use the pi bond, attack one Cl, lose the other as a leaving group. But at the same time, a lone pair from this first chlorine will go back and bond to one of the alkyne carbons. So the intermediate that we get will have the double bond with a chloronium ion present. Like this. Plus we have the chloride ion. From there, now just like we saw with the alkenes, the chloride ion will add to one of the carbons of this intermediate, open it up, and give the product. Now, if you do want to um, end up with a tetrahalogenated alkane, we can add a second equivalent of Cl2. So you can start from this product and add Cl2, second equivalent. And that will add a chlorine and chlorine across the double bond. So now we go from the alkene to the alkane. We still have chlorines here. And now we have two more chlorines on the product. Again, you can do this in two steps, adding a first equivalent and then a second equivalent, or you can just take your starting material and add Cl2 in an excess.